Hey, how's it going? Okay, so I just finished a reading for checking in on the masculine energy in our heart and soul connections. Um, and so I want to now check in with the feminine energy. If you're curious about the, the masculine one, I'll go ahead and put it up. You can connect here in the cards or I'll put it on the no, not or, and I'll put it on the end screen as well as in the description. So you have three places um, to look for that if you want to look at that one. Okay, in the last reading uh, for the masculine, I set the tone with this tuning fork here, which is the C64 Biosonics Rose Quartz Boot. I had meditated with this before the reading, and then I want to stay in this vibration, so I'm using this one again, okay? So let's go ahead and begin. Okay. Lovely energy here. All right, so feminine energy. What would you like to communicate to the masculine energy at this time, please? What would you like to say in regard to your connection to the masculine? What is the theme that you would like to speak to us about feminine energy, please? Anything? Okay. All right. Let's try a different deck. Feminine energy, please give us a theme and what you would like to say to the masculine energy. For this connection. Oh, all right. See, look at that. All right. We have breakthrough. Yeah, absolutely. Expansion. <sighs> okay. Heighten your vitality and show your support. Okay. So, hmm. If you're watching the other one and you might want to go back and watch it, there's been transparency, there's been communication, or maybe not communication, maybe there's also been um, something you've gone through. But the transparency theme is, show, is showing through here to this one because um, we have a breakthrough. Okay, there's been a breakthrough in the connection which has caused expansion. And um, heighten your vitality and show your support. Okay, so because of the breakthrough and the expansion, the feminine energy is asking the masculine to heighten your vitality. Allow this to really wake you up and show your support. Don't be silent. If you are silent right now, uh, Please don't be silent. Uh, so the feminine energy is asking the masculine energy to allow this breakthrough, which like I said in the, in the masculine one, there was the transparency. Allow this to really brighten you, enliven you, and really get you excited. And, and really show your support to the feminine, okay? Show your support. Don't leave her hanging. All right, so let's get some more cards. Feminine energy, what can you, what do you want to expand upon here on your theme? What would you like to expand upon? What else can you show us, please? We have beyond illusion, change your perception. Okay, and we have and that was six, six. And then we have nine, nine, sacred sexuality. 
accessing the unified field. And then oh, another 6-6 six, six. integration, multidimensional healing. Oh, God, I love that. 10-10, practice self-love, nurture your inner child. And 8-8, eight, eight, path of least resistance, choose ease and grace. This was in the last reading. Okay, so what I see here with the show your support, beyond illusion, change your perception. I feel like it's actually saying that because of the breakthrough, it's allowed it's allowed the masculine energy to change the perception of the connection. And now the masculine energy is able to show their support because there's no more illusion. It's beyond illusion now, this connection. Okay. So I think the feminine energy is trying to express that that is now, we're now past that illusion. And so perhaps you will start to see more support. Perhaps there will be more communication. Okay. So now we have heighten your vitality and these fell on that. So sacred sexuality, accessing the unified field. If you're not in connection or communication with this person in the physical realm, I do believe that our hearts and souls do connect in other realms with each other, with, with, with many people, not just, um, not just any one particular person, you know? And so to heighten your vitality, you can meet up in the other realms and participate in whatever your sacred sexuality means to you. Okay, because the sexuality is a form of intimacy and it doesn't have to be as we think of it in the physical realm because some not everybody is in a romantic relationship. Um, it could be platonic, but the sacredness of sexuality can be without those physical interactions, if this makes any sense. And so when you're in these other realms, in, in the unified field where you meet up, you can interact with each other, like I said, in the way that is a sacred sexuality for the two of you, okay? Um, this breakthrough here, has allowed for multidimensional healing. So so now if there's silence, if there is yeah, if there's silence, it's just because everything is integrating. What has happened between the two of you is now integrating. Okay. So allow the integration. It's on many levels. It, this has opened healing on many levels and that's part of this as well okay and so um okay another level is to nurture your inner child to allow your inner child to heal because whatever has happened and has opened okay do you hear the cars honking in the background i hope you don't gosh that's so annoying um, okay. I still have the other reading in my head. So I think that it's important to look back because there was a transparency, an occurrence that happened that allowed both hearts to open. Okay. Which has allowed the integration for healing to take place, which has allowed you to connect in this unified field which has allowed you to nurture your inner child and practice self-love. All these dimensions here, many levels are being healed. Many levels have been, have gone through a breakthrough. Okay. And so 
this one, like I said, was in the last reading as well, where you were in sort of a maybe a confusion or a dark period or something where it was just kind of hard to see, kind of not really knowing what's going on, what should I do, you know, those kind of things. And now you've transitioned over to this really bright and beautiful um, place on your path. Okay, and so it's allowed for ease and grace. There is less resistance, okay, within your connection at this time. Uh, and so that, again, goes along with this multidimensional healing and the, the self-love. Because I feel like if there's any silence right now, okay, this is the feminine speaking to the masculine. If there's any silence... Hold on. It's for you to nurture your inner child. But also what the breakthrough is, whatever it is that has happened within the connection, is allowing, the feminine is saying here, is allowing the masculine, oh my gosh, okay, it just hit me. <laughs> okay, it's just, it's overwhelming when these things come. It just hit me. The masculine is in a state of nurturing their inner child at this time because of the breakthrough. It has opened up this healing energy on multiple levels. Now the masculine can see forward more, has more clarity, has more comfort, and has a joy. It's brought upon a beautiful joy, okay? The vitality. It, it's brought upon this beautiful vitality within the masculine. This is what the feminine energy is communicating, what the feminine energy is seeing within the masculine energy that we're not able to see in this physical realm at this point, okay? This is what is being communicated. Let me get some more cards. Hmm. Excuse me. Okay, feminine energy. Thank you so much. This is really beautiful information. I'm grateful for the communication here. Is there anything else, feminine energy, that you would like to expand upon? What would you, what else would you like to communicate to us and bring into our awareness? What did you want to say to the masculines at this time, please? All right. Over here, we have Ace of Wands, Reverse, Page of Pentacles, on top of Show Your Support and Beyond Illusion. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and another, okay, this is so cool. All right, <laughs> I just get so excited. Okay, so where do I begin? I see it all. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. We've seen this in a couple of the other readings in regard to these connections. Um, it, so this means, it being in reverse means that the energy is, is coming in. So depending upon your situation, the energy could be in or is on its way in, honing down, okay? Um, that's what the reversal means. So now we have this here, the Ace of Wands. This is the feminine energy, trusting in her knowing, like I've said before with this card in the past readings, and this Phoenix, this new life that's able to come out because of what has happened with the transparency and breakthrough, okay? So because of what she has been trusting in her, excuse me, I don't mean to say she, because of what the feminine energy has been trusting within their knowing and allowing oneself to move in her knowing and it's caused the energy to come in, like I said, okay, this new expression in the connection. And this is 
a masculine energy here. The masculine, this this energy has come in to the masculine and we see that he's found the key. Ooh, see how the key is on the, the branch here? This is the branch. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, I see it in so many ways. Okay. The feminine energy has led the masculine energy to the key to, I'm just going to say her, but take gender as it resonates, okay, has led the masculine to the key to her heart for some of you. For others, the masculine energy is searching for, he has been searching for and he finally found it and now sort of feels the connection stronger, okay? So this is related to this feminine energy here. Maybe maybe for some of you, the masculine energy kind of set it down. Like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the word he, but you take gender as it resonates. Perhaps in some of your situations, the masculine energy was going through something and he said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and put the key down for now because for whatever reason, Perhaps the masculine energy wasn't able to handle it at the time or whatever the situation, okay? But now he said, no, let me come back. I want that. I want that. Okay. So the other thing I saw here is um, the horse and the individual here and the mountain. In the last reading, we had a card where this individual with the horse was walking into sort of the valley of the mountains and was going to a watering hole and finding refreshment, um, nourishment. And so now it looks as though they've, they've done that and is coming is continuing down the path and traveling further, okay? I just think that's really cool. I want to get more information. Hmm. Let's see. Um, feminine energy, please. I'm going to use two decks. I want to get some more information, if you will, on the Page of Pentacles. What can you expand upon in regard to this page of pentacles and specifically what I'm looking at here is the mountain and this this traveler here what else can you show us please very good and let's get I'm going to use this deck as well again feminine energy just asking for more expansion on this page of pentacles, specifically the traveler and the mountain. Woo, did you see that one fly? <laughs> All right, got a lot of information here. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Okay, yay. Okay, so this, <laughs> this was also in the reading for the masculine energy to the feminine, okay? So we have 10 of earth. We have witch of earth. Rebirth, Six of Fire, okay? And we have Ten of Swords. Oh, this is beautiful. Wheel of Fortune, yes. And of course, this is the one that we're getting clarification, the Page of Pentacles. <sighs> okay. The expansion on this mountain here and the Traveler. We have the path. The path that was seen in the last video is appearing here again, um, reminding us that because of the breakthrough due to the transparency that was allowing for open hearts, the two to connect further, deeper, there were, there was this, um, electricity that's been lit on the path. Okay. And so it, it's in regard to this because um, the, 
Well, that's what it's saying. It, it's saying basically, like I said, what the experience of being in that valley and nourishing oneself with the water. Okay, it's the same idea here for this reading. And we have the Ten of Swords. In this particular deck, there's two Ten of Swords. Some The traditional you'll see, like, um, it, it means just anxiety and just too many thoughts um, and just being... Over okay, you know what? I had a technology issue, and so uh, that was something to deal with. <laughs> but I have the cards here all in place, and so we'll continue forward. So what I was saying here about the Ten of Swords, um, there's two Ten of Swords in this particular deck, and the the traditional ten of swords is that it's expresses like kind of a, a victimized mentality and anxiety and and just feeling too many thoughts and and anxiety really is how I see it. Okay. But this one is is kind of expressing that this is what happens when we have our thoughts in order. The swords are the thoughts, the wisdom, the, the owl represents wisdom, okay? And so for this Ten of Swords, we have come out of these excessive thoughts and worries and fears. We now have wisdom and it's looking us in the eye. So you can see it as the masculine is feeling more wisdom because of the breakthrough and what has transpired within the connection. Okay. And so, and then we have the wheel of fortune, which like I said, which I always say with this card is as the wheel turns, so shall it be. This one was also in the masculine to the feminine. This is the feminine to the masculine. And so you are on the right path. Your path is moving forward. It's being electrified and amplified by the universe, by the fates, by your destiny. You are on the right path. You are moving forward very nicely, okay? And continue to be grounded and solid and bringing in, see, we have here, you see the wand again? So this is the earth but it's earth energy. You're bringing in the wand, this fire, this knowing, your creativity, your passion, your love, allowing it to bring forth this new life. And now with the witch of earth, you are grounding this energy into the physical plane. Okay. And she's very serious with what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. She's stabilized in, in her knowing. And she's utilizing that energy to strengthen the bond. Because the feminine energy does the magical work, the, the work in the realms. And the masculine energy is doing the work in, in the physical the masculine energy tends to work in the physical realm more so and, and getting things in order in the physical realm. Feminine energy is, in, in these connections, is required to do all the magical work. You know, give and take for both. I mean, they're both doing it, but you know what I'm trying to say, okay? All right, and so we have here six of fire and rebirth. And again, the reversals are just meaning that this energy is coming in. There's an awakening, there's a rebirth, there's just a joy, a pureness and joy in this path that you're walking with this individual. And it's just heightening your vitality. You see how beautifully happy this person looks. The vitality is just so bright. So bright and lovely, okay? And six of fire, the heart, love. Love, love, love. Don't we love, love? 
<laughs> That's what I get from this card. Just love. So much love. Be in love. Give love. Receive love. Now I have this song in my head. Oh, okay. I can hear it, but it, I think it's like a queen song. Anyway, uh, let me move on from that. So love, lots of love, lots of love, lots of support from the universe. Um, this is really a beautiful reading. Let's get some last words here. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Let's use this deck here. Okay, feminine energy, any last words you have for us in regard to our connection, please? What do you want to say to the masculine energy at this time for encouragement? What is it that you would like to express, please? Okay. Divine masculine. Third chakra. First chakra. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. So it's like we were saying, um, this grounding energy here, the, the feminine grounding this passionate energy into the physical realm so that the masculine can utilize it in this physical realm. It's coming into... How do I say this? It's it's bringing it's bringing the energy into it rooted. Okay, it's grounding the energy. It's rooting the energies of the two of you. Your chakras, your first chakra, your root chakra. This energy is now being rooted and grounded. Okay, and it's activating this confidence and creativity and the butterflies in the stomach the joy and the excitement. It's activating the rebirth of your love for each other. And it's activating the, the vitality. Okay. Um, yeah. What else do I see here? Yeah. So I'll read these cards to you. The first chakra, the energy of the root chakra supports our sense of safety in the physical world and reminds us to enjoy our physical bodies. So it's connected to the sacred sexuality as well. Sacred sexuality. Maybe it's also rooting that. So if it is for those of you who are in a... Um, romantic love connection, maybe it's going to bring in the sacred sexuality um, from the unified field into the physical realm for you. So that could be happening for some of you, okay? And then the third chakra, the energy of the solar plexus chakra helps us to realize who we are and who we want to be so we can set a course toward our goals, Okay, so this is reminding me of um, nurturing your inner child. And again, the, the joy and the vitality. It's brightening that up in you, creating confidence. All right, well, that was really beautiful. Yes, lots of expansion, lots of expansion happening. So very beautiful. I'm excited about that reading. Let me know what you think. Tell me your experiences. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you for your time, and I will see you next time.